When I was about five or six, there were these teenagers and they got bored in the middle of the night and they stole their grandpa's gun and started to drive around. They didn't have any intents to hit or try to kill or try to hurt anybody, but they started to shoot around. They shot at an abandoned house down on my street and they completely destroyed a truck and they thought my house was abandoned, so they shot through my window. It shot through my arm, barely missing my head. I was very little. I didn't know what was happening, so I kind of woke up. My arm was aching a little bit, and I felt really sweaty. I remember, like, kicking off all of my blankets, and it was really dark, and I was super tired, so I didn't really know what was happening, so I tried to go back to sleep, but the pain didn't really stop. So I finally got up and I decided to go tell my dad. I couldn't see anything. It was really dark. So I managed to stumble my way down the hall and it was dark. So he didn't see what was happening either. He asked what was wrong and I told him that my arm hurt and he thought that I just like slept on it wrong because I sleep like a maniac. He let me in and told me to lay down on a giant like pillow thingy we had. It was shaped like a lion. It was very cute. So I laid on the giant pillow thingy and my dad turned on the TV and that's when he noticed that like I was drenched in blood. I was covered in blood and he started to freak out. So he turned on the light and we looked at my arm. There was a wound on the top of my arm and on the bottom. I didn't really know what was happening. I was just kind of like, whoa, there's a hole in my arm. So my dad thought there was like a razor blade in my bed or something. Like he didn't think I got shot. Nobody in our house heard the gunshot. So he picked me up and started carrying me to his car. But then a police officer stopped him and asked if I was hurt, if they knew that I was shot. And then they said that we needed to wait for an ambulance to come. And they finally got me and managed to help me. And I was in the hospital for like three days and I got a bunch of cards from my class and that was really nice. The three teenagers were caught and they were sent to jail. My arm is okay, it still works perfectly. I'm able to like draw and animate and do all the things that I love still. So I guess it worked out in the end. Oh my God, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.